cockfighting was still legal in Louisiana back when I lived there. But it was frowned upon in polite society. It wasn't anything you ever considered attending, really. But I'm here to tell you that a cockfight saved my life. Tick for Louisiana was a little bitty town about an hour out of New Orleans. Not much there, but not much there, but the family prayer before every plate of rice and beans. I had a couple of friends who were going to attend an extraordinary kind of show. They were going to a cockfight in Tickfall. And they asked me, did I want to go? I said, I don't know. Well, I usually am a compassionate man. Don't like to see any animal harm. But I'm also not shy when there's something new to try, although I might be alarmed. What's the atmosphere, smell, where is it held? Curiosity got under my skin. Did I want to see a cockfight in Tickfall? Or well, maybe not, but count me in. Six months before this, I had met a young miss, and all in all, things were going pretty well. If push came to shove, I'd say that we were in love. How she felt was harder to tell. But we had both made the promise to always be honest, and I was going to put that to the test and tell her about the cockfight in Tickfall. It was a dicey proposition at best. I drove up to her place, put a smile on my face. I was trying to keep my poise. I said, if we have no plans tonight, I thought that I might go out with some of the boys. She said, where are you going to go? A little place you don't know. Our north of here, more or less. Are you going to a cockfight in Tikva? I said, well, I might be, yes. That was a pretty good guess. She really blew a fuse. That's animal abuse. And I thought of something smart to say. Ernest Hemingway writes about going to bullfights. Well, good for Ernest Hemingway. I said, fine, let's forget it. Forget I ever said it. Argument's over. You won. I'm not going to the cockfight in Tikva. But it was too late. The damage was done. She was judge and jury and unleashed our, her fury on, for a crime that I didn't even commit. She said, you're heart, uh, you're heartless and cruel. How could I be such a fool? I had to get out of there. Lickety split. As I turned to flee, she threw a book at me. And take Hemingway with you too! Go see your cockfight in Tikva. By then, it was the only thing left to do. There was screeching and crying, and feathers were flying. It's a nightmare I won't soon forget. I never did see the cockfight, but that woman could sure get upset. And if you ask me, the truth will set you free. We might have been man and wife if it wasn't for that cockfight in Tikva. A cockfight in Tikva. If it wasn't for that cockfight in Tikva, I would have been henpecked for the rest of my life. Thank you, thank you, Harriet.